Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you um, some signs that your computer may have a problem. Uh, if you look at my task manager here, um, it, if you don't know how to bring this up in 7 Vista XP, it's all the same. You push Control Alt, which are the two buttons next to your spacebar on the left, and Delete. Vista on 7, you get this screen. Just click Start Task Manager. XP, it'll bring it up automatically. And at the top, you want to left click Performance. And you want to pay close attention to the CPU usage. As you notice down here, I have nothing running. Uh, this is spyware. Uh, I installed it just mainly to make this video. This is a Vista shutdown timer. It's logged me in. It's my recording. It's my HP monitor. And that is my um, uh, internet connection. These are just pinned. They're not running. And as you see, I have 48%, sometimes 50% CPU usage while doing nothing. Uh, that's definitely a telltale sign that you have a problem. And also another sign would be your page file or memory. There is no way a computer, unless it's Vista of course, uh, a, a normal computer, should be using this much page file just sitting here. Uh, this, after I installed all the spyware and adware and screwed it up and rebooted, uh, this is what I was left with. Uh, so Later today, I'll be making a video of how to repair all this stuff. If you notice down here, you have 61 processes running. Uh, that's not supposed to be. Uh, you're supposed to have anywhere, depending on what you do with your computer, the average is between 30 and 45. Really, anything past 45, uh, again, depending on what you're running, uh, indicates problems. Uh, but I really don't care what you're running unless you're running virtual machines or anything but with a computer just sitting here idling you should not have 61 processes and you should definitely not have CPU usage jumping all the way up and down like crazy well this is one telltale sign another one would be pop-up advertisements or Internet Explorer popping up uh, another sign would be if you open Internet Explorer it does that it just closes on you can't go to it so Oh, now I can't minimize, and I can't move. Oh, there it goes. As you can see, it's still jumping around. So uh, later on tonight, uh, possibly tomorrow morning, I'll show you how to repair all this good stuff. All right, YouTube, wish me luck.